Hello everyone, welcome to Clear IIS. In this video, we will be discussing about the Barbell Strategy. I am Ujwala Pulala, educator at Clear IIS. Introduction There are different methodologies used in business management and project development. Few of them are Waterfall Approach, Agile Framework and Barbell Strategy. All these will be discussed in this video. Economic survey talked about the way in which India handled the COVID crisis using such strategies. So why is it in news now? The recently released economic survey of 2022 mentioned that the government adopted barbell strategy while handling the COVID crisis. On one hand, the government resorted to reforms, but on the other hand, it focused on improving the lives of the people. So on one hand, the government tried to improve the resilience of the economy to face such uncertainties in future while on the other hand it provided safety nets to the people to as to improve their life. Government shifted from the conventional waterfall method to barbell strategy. So what is waterfall approach? It is a traditional method. In this method, the steps followed are in a sequence which resembles the flow of a waterfall and hence the name. This requires having a clearly defined goal and knowing all the requirements to achieving that goal beforehand. So this is how a waterfall approach looks like. Here these steps resemble the flow of water in a waterfall and hence the name waterfall approach. So as you can see, this is a sequence of these steps. So one must have a clearly identified goal beforehand and what all the steps are required to achieve such goal are to be framed beforehand. And each output of a particular step acts as the input for the next step. Cons No scope for reviewing and making any required changes. Any uncertainty requires starting the task all over again right from the scratch. So what happens is when once the goal is fixed and all the steps necessary to achieve that goal are framed, one can never make any changes in between. So when any uncertainty crops in between, one has to start the task all over again right from the scratch. See consider the case of 5 year plans in India. Every 5 year plan in India is fixed or framed around a particular agenda and every five year plan has a central theme and all the policies are framed around this theme and to achieve that theme. So when any uncertainty crops in between, you cannot change or you cannot tamper with the goal of the five year plan. The biggest drawback is that one can never consider all the possibilities right at the beginning in the case of long term goals. So in the case of long term goals, one can never predict the uncertainties beforehand. So what are the possibilities you framed, they can change over the due course of time. Agile framework. So to overcome the cons of the waterfall approach, agile framework is an alternative. This is usually considered as an alternative for the waterfall approach. Agile method gives scope for tailoring the task based on the reviews. In the case of any uncertainties, changes can be made in the approach. So this is how an agile methodology looks like. It gives opportunity to make any changes in between when any uncertainties crop up during the course of the plan. It allows for the feedback to be considered and make the necessary changes required. Barbell strategy. The center has used the barbell strategy to deal with the COVID crisis in the country as we have already discussed. It combines putting safety nets in place for the vulnerable sections with policy adjustment based on the real time data. The government leveraged high frequency indicators HFIs from departments and private agencies for constant monitoring of the situation in the country. In total, there are 22 HFIs. Few of them are Mercantile Exports, Coal Production, Rail Freight, Power Consumption, Fertilizer Sales, etc. So the government monitored all these indicators on a regular basis and based on the data collected through these indicators, the government took the necessary action. 
so this is how a barbell looks like on the one end we have an extremely conservative approach and on the other end we have an extremely aggressive approach so when the pandemic hit our country the government had the classic dilemma of lives versus livelihood before it the government had to choose either between improving the economy or improving the lives of the people however both these are interlinked one cannot focus on one aspect and neglect the other aspect so the government took the middle path and it focused on improving both the economy as well as the lives of the people in the case of economy the government brought in a lot of reforms like labor codes and deregulation of various sectors whereas for improving the lives of the people it brought in various packages like atmanirbhar bharat so the adoption of barbell strategy was how the government dealt successfully the covid crisis in our country So this was a short discussion regarding the bubble strategy I hope it cleared your doubts to an extent thank you and please subscribe to our channel clear ideas